Okay, this is the video for EGT 110, exercise 7.2, shaft support. I want you to start off with a 2 inch diameter and a 3 inch diameter circle. Go ahead and put your center marks on just like this. And once you have that, there's going to be a three-quarter inch slot that cuts through those two circles. So we're going to offset, you can offset this line over three-eighths of an inch and offset it in this direction three-eighths of an inch, trim it off, and match properties or make this layer the object layer here and here. There's also a 3 8 inch diameter hole that cuts through both of those circles and they're going to be hidden lines so you're going to need two hidden lines on either side and they're going to be 3 8 of an inch apart. So once you have that Again, you're going to use your construction lines and just start transferring your lines up as such. And this part is an inch and a half wide. So you would have a construction line like this. Then you would offset 1.5, enter. and you're going to create this box right here. Everything you do is going to fall within this box. And I've went ahead and highlighted a couple things here to kind of show you what to look for. Um, it's a little bit tricky. Because we have this cut out on a circle, you're going to use your arc. You're going to come in here, oh, we got the wrong one, okay, right here, three point arc, you're going to choose this point, you're going to choose this point where the construction line crosses the center line, and then the last one would be here. So once you have that, you can copy that over here, what I did, I copied this one over and I mirrored the image here. So again, I just all I did was copy this one over to here and I used my mirror command to mirror this and I created this one which I can move over to here. Same deal here. Here is this mark that I transferred up. Where it crosses the center line, you do the same thing. You, you choose your three-point arc. Go one, two, three. Copy this over, mirror it, and you can bring it over to this side. That's about the only tricky spot. We have a cutout on the top, which you show here. And I'm going to go ahead and erase these. Eventually, you should have something that pretty much looks like this. Front view, top view, right side. Okay? So just have a look at this. You can also go to the 3D printer parts and look at the, uh, the part that we have for this. It kind of give you a little visualization. Um, it's a little bit harder in AutoCAD because you don't have the isometric. But take a look at the 3D part or study this. And this is what we're looking for. Again, create a block, insert it into your title block, and turn this in as exercise 7.2.